The book has been a phenomenon, and that's been matched by interest in the film, with hundreds turning out to see the movie's stars at its European premiere. Unsurprisingly, Anne Hathaway admits it's a daunting prospect playing the film's lead. I'd be lying if I, if I said I didn't feel a little bit of pressure to, um, to be the Emma that people had you know, in their minds when they read the book, but I quickly realized that if I was trying to, to please other people that I might, uh, I might not actually play the role as well. Her co-star agrees. It is daunting. It got more daunting as the sort of filming went on because it, you know, I wasn't aware of the book until we started making the film or I was getting involved in the film. And then as we were, you know, as, as we sort of shot around London and Paris, I would just see this orange book pop up everywhere. I'd be sitting on the train and there'd be four people reading it over there. And then I started to get a little nervous, you know, and I thought, you know, God, the people really care about these, these people and these characters. Tilly, come on, it's time to go home. Emma and Dexter first meet at university, the start of a close friendship that lasts for years. You know, we've never actually met. Actually, we have. Several times. Oh, have we? You gate crashed my birthday party, called me Julie, and spilt red wine down my top. Ouch. We were at university. Anne Hathaway has, of course, appeared in a variety of successful Hollywood movies. But for this one, the American actress had a new challenge. I had a crush on you. The character of Emma's Yorkshire accent. There were plenty of times that I didn't think I could do it, and I'm sure there were plenty of times when other people think I thought I couldn't do it. But, um... It was, once I got into Emma, once I got into who she was, the accent became less important. And, I th and, I, and, and, and so I was able to focus on who she was as a person and you know, just basically put my best accent out there and hope it was up to snuff. Rule number two, no flirting, no having a few drinks and getting frisky with me. The team behind the movie will be hoping that fans of the book would experience a strong connection to the film and help the novel's success translate to the big screen. Lisa Mazimba, BBC News.